Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for July 21st. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This pair moved lower, created inside bar, so we're definitely going to look for the breakout. Look for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 87.95, possibly as low as 86.32. Look for some resistance around 87.50 and look for some support around 86.65. Now, looking at the Euro USD pair, this particular pair closed lower during today's session. Uh, overall, pair is moving sideways. We are looking for this pair to continue that direction. Look for it to potentially go as high as 129.83, possibly as low as 126.47. Look for some resistance around 128.35, and look for some support around 126.75. Okay, now the the pound U.S. dollar pair closed lower, did move higher, uh, created an outside bar from the previous bar. If you see that, uh, it is the high is inside the high. Uh, it's lower than the previous bars, and our low today was lower than our previous bar. So we have uh, it has created an inside bar, uh, or an outside bar rather, outside of the range basically of the previous day. Now, we are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 154.17, possibly as low as 150.26. Look for some resistance around 152.95 and look for some support around 151.25. Now, looking at the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair closed lower. It did create an inside bar in this particular pair we are looking for it to continue moving sideways look for it to move as high as 10603 possibly as low as 10426 look for some resistance around 10559 and look for some support around 10450 now we do have the european bank releasing their uh, bank stress test results uh, tomorrow uh, the European Central Bank is releasing that no time given. Uh, definitely keep an eye on this. This could, uh, if it comes out good, could be good for the European, uh, the euro. If it's bad, if the stress test fails, uh, then, of course, it could be negative news. So definitely keep an eye on that. Well, as far as what I'm looking at, we have two inside bars here, one in the U.S. Swiss that we're looking at. And we have some potential uh, areas of previous support that would now be resistance moving to the upside, several of them actually. Uh, so you could trail this stop all the way up, basically looking to take a buy order here at 1.0559, moving up to this point, grabbing about 40 pips or so, 30, 40 pips and then just trailing it on up until you hit this area and take an exit. This would be probably a little bit longer trade. Definitely could see it moving up to this point, maybe even the second point within one session. But after that, it would probably be a little more limited as far as to the upside. We have a strong area of support here. If it moves to the downside, look for it just to come on down about 50 pips or so and be able to pull 50 pips out of the market there. Now looking at the pound we already talked about that one being an outside bar. We have, we do have a swing trade opportunity here. It's not the ideal setup, but uh, it could be there. Look for it to come on down. Look for a break. It's a pretty good ways to drop, especially before we hit some areas of previous uh, resistance or support that would now be support right here. Uh, so I don't know if I would take that trade. I'd probably monitor that one would be a better way of handling it. Now, the U.S.-Japanese yen pair, we do have an inside bar that was created as well. We have some uh, a significant area here that has been broken through, you know, and moved through over the past several sessions, uh, in, if you just look at the most recent history. So taking a buy on this, looking for it to come on up to this area and grabbing those pips out of there would not be a bad idea. Now, if it does move to the downside, we have this low here. Definitely need to be cognizant of that low and, of course, this low as well. Uh, 
but as it comes on down, you look to sell short and then grab a quick 20 pips and see if it'll continue on to grab another 20. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.